everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Candy, and it is Monday night, and so I thought I would start making my candles. My husband's back from Korea, and so now we have a camera, and he's going to help me film this so that my hands are free because I still don't have a tripod, honey, on my Christmas list. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to help you, show you guys, like, me making candles. I've never actually made them before, but, you know, I saw something on Pinterest, and I thought, heck, that looks easy. I can do that. So... Hopefully, my whole house doesn't end up burning down on C2. Okay, so what I have here so far are four different jars. Um, these are these two are spaghetti jars. I can't remember what this one was, like chutney or something, I don't know. Something like that. Are you telling me? Yeah, go ahead. And uh, I have this jar, which is just a mason jar, which looks nice. Um, so I have a measuring cup here, and I've got my wax, and I'm going to be pouring that into here and melting that in the microwave slowly, just until it melts pour into here and I got like a little spoon to help me dish it around and stuff and I'm using plastic so that way it, I mean I can clean it off easily even if it's metal or glass or whatever but this way it's just easier for me and then I have four of these little metal tabs which I am going to be tying the wick down to and dropping the wick into said candle and cutting the wick however long I need it um, I'm going to take a couple of these candles and I'm going to be donating them to my husband's work. There's someone with colon cancer there, and they're doing some fundraising to help pay for the medical bills. And so I'm going to hopefully donate these towards the auction, and hopefully that will bring in some money for his coworkers. I also have some different scents. Um, I have a rose scent that I'm probably be making one. I'm going to be doing this one. is called Hope. It smells like cinnamon, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, it's kind of like an apple cinnamon, like a cider scent. It smells like cider. <laughs> And then I've got four of these, which is kind of like a spicy, minty, rosemary kind of scent. I don't know. It's like spicy, but not like cinnamon type of spicy. Anyway. And then I have lemon, which is just a nice, yummy, clean scent. So we're going to be using those four scents. And I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the wig. Let's see here. Never actually have to do this. So I think what you do is you stick it through this little hole here. I hope I'm doing this the right way. Oh, I bet you do it the backwards way right here. <laughs> Sorry, I like to hum sometimes in weird little tunes. Hopefully this isn't going to be too far away. Oh, here we go, here we go. Alrighty then. And I think what I'll do is, let's see. And this little tab thing is just like a weight for the wick. So that's a little too long, so if we cut it, Right about here. That'll give me a chance to tie a knot in the bottom to keep it steady. So we'll just kind of tie a little knot here. Can you see that? There we go. We'll slide that toward the bottom. There we go. Tighten that up. That way it doesn't come out from the little tab. And then it is a little long, but that is okay. I hope I'm doing the bottom of her. <laughs> I can trim it later, but I want to put it that way so that way I can keep the wick kind of straight. And I might be getting a pencil or something to like kind of just drape it on just to keep the wick straight after I pour the wax so it's not like, you know, all over the place to where it's like I know it's in the middle. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to finish doing these and I'll catch up with you in a second. Okay, so I have all my wicks in my jars. This one just kept wanting to fall in, so I just kind of already put a pencil there. Kind of just to keep it from falling into the hole. Well, I've got my wax here now. These are just wax flakes. I bought these on Amazon. They're just soy wax, and this is, I bought 10 pounds for like 20 bucks. And this is, came in two different bags instead of five pounds each. So I'm just using this bag. I just cut a little hole here on the side and pour it into my glass measuring cup. This is just two cups. and. We'll kind of just go from there and see how much wax I need, and then I'll just add scent to the wax, and yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Just pour that in there. It kind of looks like coconut. <laughs> if I didn't know that was wax, right, people? Might look good on a cake, but wouldn't taste very good, I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, that's probably good. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. All right, I'm just going to pop this in the microwave, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just pulled this out of the microwave, and it took probably about four minutes, and I, what I did is I just kind of put it on for, like, a minute, and then I kind of just stirred it a little bit, and then 
continue on for like another minute or 30 seconds. Um, I didn't want to make my glass explode. My glass did get really hot. Um, so there were still some bits that were floating around the bottom, but I just kind of kept stirring once most of it was melted and it just kind of finished melting everything. So it's kind of like a nice little yellow consistency as you can see. And what I'm just going to do is just add scent until I feel satisfied that it has enough. And I'm going to do the lemon because I'm going to do the small candle in lemon here. Um, so I'm just going to add drops of essential oils. And you can use any kind of oil you want. And if you want to color it, you can totally color it if you want to. Um, all you have to do is like uh, use melted wax crayons. or You don't want to use food coloring because that's water. But if you just melt like wax crayons, you can do whatever color you want. I'm just leaving these all simple colored. I just want them, you know, white basically. Oh, let's see. Hmm, that does smell pretty good. I think I might add a few more drops though, because I want to be sure that when they burn it, it smells lemony. Okay, I think that's probably going to be good. Yeah. Okay. So I've got my small jar here, and I'm just going to pour. The wax. Now, as you saw when I had this, it was full to the top with wax chips, and it melted to about one cup. So just, you know, keep that in mind if you're filling these bigger ones. You're probably going to need either a bigger glass jar, or you're going to need to, you know, put more chips in after they start melting, so you get the desired amount of wax that you will need and you want. So here we go. Kind of hold that in place, and there we go. And you probably don't want to fill it all the way to the top, but like most of the way to the top. And that is actually pretty darn perfect. Alrighty. So, I'm just going to, let's see. I think I might have a chopstick in this drawer. Aha, uh -huh, I do. Or skewer. And I'm just going to maybe kind of wrap that around a little bit. And pull that tight. And keep that nice and straight until that cools. So I'm just going to kind of move that off to the side here. And I think that's pretty straight in there. Let's see. Let me see if it straightens just a tad more. There we go. There we go. And once this is cool, um, I will trim down the wick to a you know appropriate appropriate length, and then. What I'm going to do is take decorative paper and decorate the outside with like scrapbooking paper and you know stickers or whatever I want to put on there, stamps, different things like that to make them look nice. And the cool part about it is you can make it match any of your decor. Like if you want to make these for Christmas, you can use Christmas scents. You can use, you know, I don't know. There's not really a Fourth of July scent, but you know what I mean. Maybe like summer berry scents or something that make you think of summer. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And you can even do like colors, you could do like layers of colors even maybe if you wanted to, to make it match. And then you can decorate the paper however you want to for like a gift. Like if you know someone who's having a baby or just, you know, needs some cheering up or something, I mean, makes a great gift. Anyway, so we're going to keep working on the rest of these. And I will show you the finished products once they've cooled and they're on their way to being done. <laughs> okay, so I've just finished. I got a four cup one because the other one was just enough to fill the small one. So I figured the four cup one would probably be enough to fill this one, I'm hoping. If not, I'll probably have to melt some more wax to put on both. Alright, so this one I'm going to do rose scented. Now this is not an essential oil. This is one I got, like a scent that I got specifically for candles. I just bought it on Amazon, so I don't know that it's essential oil grade. You can use whatever you want or have on hand. Um, and you can make them as strong scented or as light scented as you see fit. Okay. Okay, that's not very strong. At least I think it could be stronger. I'm gonna do a few more drops of this one. There we go. I don't know how strong these will be when they burn, but they're at least scented. Honey, do you think that smells good in there? Do you smell it from there? Uh-uh. You can't smell it in there. The other one was stronger, but that's probably because it was essential oil. Alright, but can't. we're just going to do it the way that it is. And I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. Let's see, there we go. And 
rinse that out so it doesn't smell like roses. <laughs> you know, that's probably a very good idea. Because, yeah, we don't want the other candle smelling like roses. No. Okay, so I finished melting a little bit more wax, and I'm going to try filling up this little mason jar here. Let's see if this one works. I'm going to use the essential oil blend seed, which has, um, it's called four seeds. And I think it's um, got cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, lemon, and rosemary. So it's kind of like a spicy, fresh, I don't know, minty sort of thing. And we are going to put some of that in there. Kind of smells wintry to me. I don't know, you know? Because it's not really, like, you know what I mean? Like apple cinnamon, pumpkin pie type of baking sort of smell. But it's, I don't know, it's just really good, especially the mint. Like the mint is really strong. Like I can smell that already. I might add a little tiny bit more. Just because I want to make sure that my candles smell strongly. Oh my goodness, yes. Can you smell that all the way over there? Like the mint is pretty strong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, yeah. burn that. That'll clear out your nose, won't it? <laughs> uh, okay. been that way for me. So, we're going to try this again. <laughs> All right. That will probably do it. I'm going to just throw that into the microwave for another minute. Okay, so I finished melting the core wax and just added some essential oils to it. And now I'm going to finish pouring my wax. I've got my last little bit of wax here, just melting the last little chunk that's in there that doesn't seem to want to melt very quickly. So, um, it's kind of the color and consistency of chicken broth, like really clear, jello yellow chicken broth. <laughs> and the more you, like when you start melting it, the more you stir it, the easier it melts. And so I've had to put them on for about three minutes each now, now that I've kind of got the hang of it here. Um, I'm just waiting for this last little bit from here to finish melting before I add the essential oils and then pour my candle. And this will be the last one. I can't believe that used almost a five pound bag. So about a five pound bag makes, well, you probably could get another candle, maybe a candle, maybe two, if it's a smaller candle out of that. So it doesn't make like a ton, but they are annoying. And 20 bucks really isn't bad for this many candles, so, okay. You've got it all melted. Now for the last 
little essential oil, my apple cinnamon. Come on now. There we go. Come on out. Oh my gosh, that smells really good when it's warm. It smells like a warm cup of tea, a warm cup of apple cider. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I'm not going to want to give that one away, but I probably will. Because <laughs> I know it smells the best. I noticed this one here with Four Thieves. It smells kind of like medicine, so I told Scott. Uh, well, we should keep that one, so when we're sick, we can burn it. And <laughs> like our eyes will probably be burning because it'll be hurting. We'll be like, oh my gosh, the menthol. But at least we'll be able to breathe. <laughs> That'll cut through any stuffy nose like you wouldn't believe, my goodness. Because it's really strong even now. Oh my gosh, that smell is so good. I wish you guys could smell it, I swear. Oh my gosh. That totally reminds me of home, that smell. It reminds me of Oak Glen. I believe that's in one of my other previous videos when we went to California. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what it reminds me of. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. I think this one's going to be just enough. Awesome. I'm not even going to have to do anything with that one. That's great. I finally got the mix correct. Now, the trick is not to touch it at all until it's completely set up. So, I mean, you can touch it right now because it's liquid. But as it starts to cool, you don't want to touch it because then it will disturb the wax because I kind of did that with the, one of the other ones. And quite frankly, you can kind of see where the other wax was and then I tried to fix it and now you can see my fingerprint in it, unfortunately. <laughs> It happens. It does happen. I mean, it's my first time making candle seeds. Girls make mistakes. All right. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it for my candle making. Um, I may show you the finished product when it's done, when I'm done decorating the papers and everything, and I will show you what, what it looks like when they're finished. And hopefully you'll find this inspirational and feel like getting your hands dirty with a little bit of crafting. Thanks, guys.